In this video, we are going to learn how to create teams or work groups and learn how to work with them, how to erase them, how to edit them, how to introduce new athletes, etc. The first thing we have to do is go to the management tab, which is all the way to the right here. And this always shows up here by de default, something called no team. And it's a sort of a default team where all the athletes that don't have a team or haven't been assigned a team are located. And if we click on it, we see that we have four athletes, which are our athletes we already had here. We recommend having your athletes imported before you create your team because it will be much easier that way. So you can create your team and fill it with imported athletes basically all at once. So the first step would be to have your athletes ready. We go to teams and click up here to the right and this form appears to create a new team and we can choose a logo which we recommend for example your team logo or if you want to make one up or whatever. For this example, we are going to choose this one, and we're going to give this team a name. Wolves, for example. And the sport they play will be basketball, for example. Okay, we're going to say they are professionals. Now, we've created the team, and this team is empty right now. But we can click on it, and up here to the right, we can add all the athletes we want to be part of this team. In this case, we're going to choose these two. We select them, and now they're part of our team. Now, let's create another team and call this one, for example, uh, let's choose this one. Since this is dragon, we will call them dragons. What sport? Hmm. Uh, let's say track and field, athletics and they will be amateurs. Then we create the team and we're going to select the athletes we want. And in this case we're going to select three athletes so you can see that an athlete can be on more than one team. We select these three and these three are in. So if we go here we see there are no athletes. And This is useful because simply imagine we have hundreds of athletes and we're not entirely sure if we forgot any or forgot to put someone on a team. We can't quite remember. All we do is go to no team and all the athletes we haven't put on any team should appear. Even though this is called teams, it, they can also be work groups. Let's imagine we only work with a team of 20 or 30 athletes in the gym and they tend to organize themselves in the same way on one rack all the strongest athletes, on another rack all the medium strength athletes, and on a different rack all the weaker ones. Well now we can create those work groups so that later when we start the training session and when we hit start I can locate them and quickly tell them okay on this tablet only this group is going to work. And when I say group it can be a group, it can be a work group, a team, or I can just select these three, hit continue, and then we would continue working with these same three athletes. It's a nice way of organizing yourselves. And then if we click on an athlete, we can see how many teams he belongs to. And in this case, this athlete belongs to two teams, as we can see. And from right here, we could take him off these teams simply by selecting and deselecting and then clicking on continue. For now, we're going to leave him how he was and show you another way of removing athletes from a team. And that's by clicking on the team and clicking on the plus button again. What we can do is deselect an athlete and simply say, okay, he will no longer be on this team. I hit select and now I've modified the team and now there are only two athletes. And look, this is perfect so I can show you how now this person appears in no team because he no longer has a team. Now let's imagine I want to erase a team because I made a mistake. So what do I do? Do I have to take all the athletes off the team and then erase the team? No. All we have to do is all we have to do to erase a team is simply swipe left and I erase the team, but only the team. The athletes are all still here. It's just the team or group that has been erased. And there's more. 
Let's imagine we want to edit our team's information. Just swipe left, click Edit, and we can change the name, the logo, all the team's data that we previously selected. And that's everything in terms of what you can do with the teams for now.